Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload, last episode. Cut scene city. Some crazy things are happening in the plot, but at the same time, that's going on. But we gotta spend time with our friends here in Gecko Khan High. What can I just say? It feels so good to be back. Also been a while, Chihiro. Excuse me, Yuki-san. Do you have some time later today? I have time right now. What's up? Oh, good. Today, I'd like to go somewhere to relax and talk. One of my favorite hobbies. All right, I'll see you. <sighs> Not too many people come here at this hour. This time of day is perfect. So, um, there is something I needed to ask you. Oh. Oh, no. Well, I'm all, I'm all ears. Headphones are out. <sighs> Thank you. So, there's this friend I have. Um, she's a girl. Oh, God. It is like I thought. And, well, there's the boy who's been oh. helping her a lot recently. Oh, no! Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I, I was wondering, is she in love right now? Hmm. Yeah, probably. Senpai. Eh? Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least, I hope you are. I mean, I'm sure that's how my, um, friend feels. Jesus Christ, this is not subtle at all. Thank you. With your help, I think I know how I should proceed now. With telling your friend, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. I know what to tell my friend now. Yeah, I got you. Jesus. Chihiro looks like as if a weight has been lifted off her shoulders. She could, I'm, 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 it's better that she got this information from me. Than Cosmo magazine, okay? Like I'm just gonna say that, you know. Sorry for asking you about such a weird topic. It's really not that weird when you think about how the humans are. Like, just happy to, yeah, don't, don't happy to help anytime. Senpai. Okay, stop calling me. You always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. I feel like if I'm not, you'll self implode. I don't. I can't handle well, that. Should we get going? Not the most eventful thing, but... Oh, I, that reminds me. Oh, we're not done. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. Oh, heck yeah. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, I, I think I can do even better. As long as it's nothing too uh, scary, uh, <laughs> go ahead. G go ahead. What, what are we doing? I'm concerned. If I make the wrong move here, I might upset her. Oh no! What do I do? Uh, uh, okay, we're just, you know, we're doing one of these. Huh? Oh, um. Oh my god, he fixed his hair? That's so cool! Is that it? <gasps> I have up! Oh, nothing. This social link is in the dumpster, bro. We're through. I watch a hero <sighs> until we do it separate ways. Because as we established, we live in different parts of the city. Freaking, it's over. Justice is dead. Also, where's the music? What's going on in here? Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. Yo, what's popping? I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. Oh, that means new block. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. Hey, I'm there. I thought it prudent to inform you. Hey, well, thanks for the text. All right, yo, 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 sweet. Finally, something new to look at. I, uh, I've been growing more attached to Tartarus as we continue on with the project. Oh, there's the music. Thought something dramatic happened. Welcome back. Iori may be permitted to watch over that girl for the time being. Now it's not time to bombard her with questions. Besides, we still have three shadows to contend with. We should be able to accomplish that within the next three months. Unless the situation changes. Don't let your guard down until the very end. Yeah, no kidding. It's a good thing, you know, 
I don't want to make it dark, but it's a great thing I guess actually is attending school with us now. How the numpstreg is ever going to get the jump on us, you know? Koromaru-san would like to communicate something to you. He is tired of eating the same food day after day. I recommend you change Koromaru's menu. All right, I'll get on it. You have my face. <laughs> Chef's uh, choice coming on. Komar sons, happy to hear that. Thank you. I always thought about that with my dog. Like, ah, oh, you really like the same thing every day? Then again, I almost eat the same thing every day. Yo. Protein and, well, chicken breast, which has protein. Probably aren't going to the hospital again, huh? Seems like this story person wasn't all that compatible with us. Except for one of us. <laughs> Your chemistry is something, isn't it? Why isn't anyone going to the hospital today? Did they finished questioning her already? Chidori? Uh, it's a, you know, it's a work in progress. You tried your hardest, Mitsuru. It's not your fault. You don't got that, you know, baseball cap charm. Aragaki's suppressants. Nankiko's expression. Oh, right. How is that going? Even though <laughs> this is the first our main character has heard of that. Check my phone real quick. Okay, we're good. Hmm. You ought to check in on those rooftop planners. I guess we do that. Why not? Yeah. Let's go. Not really sweating the intelligence increase. It's nice that we don't have as much crap to deal with up here. <laughs> it's meat through nagging you. Got it out with a presence. Oh my. There aren't as many weeds or pests on the roof. No moles or other critters that'll dig our plants up. Oh yeah, you're talking about critters. Got you. Still gotta watch out though. Some hungry asshole might try to help himself do the whole crop. Hey yo, what? They climb the roof? Could it be a shadow? Hmm. They're getting executed. Hey, I got a weapon. <laughs> Didn't know you were so hot blooded. What comes to my sprouts? I go. Overboard. Most of us here are decent and mature enough that we'd ask before doing something like that. With one exception. Oh. I mentioned I did a bit of gardening back at the orphanage, right? If someone sneaks a bite, it's no big deal. But this one time, some older kids stole our whole crop. Lucky got so pissed when that happened. He went after him all by himself. Even though they were twice as tall as he was. That is so like him. And then again, that's probably not much different from how he is now. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't changed at all. Dang, you, you, you seem like you're in a sharing mood today, Shinji. Compare that to these guys. Growing bigger every day. I, I, I cannot say enough how much I love these things. This should be good for today. So much character. Because, yeah, you know, you talk into a character and they tell you about themselves, that's one thing, but... A lifelong friend telling you how it is? I don't know. It's just it's different. You can head on back. I'll stay and finish up. You can thank me by helping out again sometime. <laughs> I like how it's like, you can thank me by treating me to helping me with these planners. It's like, dude, they're mine. Are they, though? Are they? Morning. Hi. There's something bothering me lately. Why did Aragaki Senpai suddenly decide to come back? Uh, I don't know. Felt like it? Yeah. Well, he looks scary, but he does seem like the type who'd rejoin because he likes to fight. No, he doesn't seem like he's the type to join. Okay. Yeah, we got that vibe from him. It's not really, you know, combative kind of guy. Doesn't seem aggro at all. Whoa. Passive, dare I say. Oh, brother! Hello, class. Bachai, Laka, Bachabe. Good lord. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today we'll discuss the magic of the Renaissance. The Renaissance era was a time when arts of the science enjoyed a strong resurgence in Europe. Of course, this had profound influence on magic. While it may be more accurate to say two studies helped improve each other. As to why Renaissance helped to further magic, practitioners had finally nailed down a way to escape the rule of the church. By studying the teachings of previously inaccessible sects, knowledge of magic flourished, possibly like never before. The Renaissance also brought about the revival of ancient Greek and Roman literature. Magical texts, such as the Hermetica, received all new translations and increased study. Philosophy, natural history, alchemy, astrology. The book is filled with a wide range of subjects. 
Some even consider it to be Bible of magic. I almost said Bible. Sorry. Just as the science and astronomy had made strides in the modern day, so too has the art of magic. You can see this emergence of one of the great magicians of all time. One who put the knowledge of the Renaissance into application. John D. Never heard of him. Was a professor who advised the Queen of England, but with the magical knowledge he uncovered, he was able to communicate with angels. Talking angels, eh? Of course. There was also Honhen... Honenheim? Oh yeah, that's easy. A doctor who traveled across Europe. He became known as Pericellus. Paracelsus? Yeah, that sounds better. A renowned physicist and alchemist. Granted, the magician's life wasn't an easy one back then. Both men dealt with great amounts of persecution in their lives. Are you still listening? Even your astral selves need to pay attention. <laughs> Here's a test to see if you're paying attention. Get it wrong and your house will become permanently haunted. Bagai, laka bachebe. Who to pick this time? Hmm, which book helped further the arts of magic during the Renaissance? That's the Hermetica. Cause it, I remember because it, it sounded like Hermit. We just wrapped that one up. Correct. Enjoy sleeping in your peaceful home tonight. Oh, I don't, don't <laughs> I hope I can. During the Renaissance, magic had a surprisingly strong influence on the church rule society. Several magicians were involved in core part of the Renaissance, the religious revolution. All right, good to know. How does that help us today, though? Genuinely, I would like to sit down with him and talk about it. Like, okay, I, I, mean, I know we can't forget our past, but come on, man, it's magicians. Free. There's a magician in our game, but he's anything but scholarly. Gosh. All right. So, like, full disclosure, I need to see if. Oh, it's Aragaki. What? Got your number from Karijo. You're free. Come by the alley. What? What? What is this? I don't know. Is this gonna eat up time again? I'm so curious. Dude, we gotta go. S screw freaking talking to goddamn Yuko. No offense, but like, you know. You know, something's up with them. The net job tree is down to two. The gothic Lolita chick? Yeah, disappear without a word. It's a real bummer, I had a crush on her. Even though there's just two of them now, they're still nuts. So there's that long haired freak. God makes me so mad. I don't have the muscles to do anything about it, though. Uh, let's get out. And you got the time. Okay. Yeah. I see. Come with me, then. Two specials. <laughs> we come here so often, God. It's every day. It's the only restaurant in town. I swear to God. You like the food? I didn't say that. Just. Oh, that's your second broody stare in the, the, the evening. What's happening? What's wrong? Not hungry? I mean, it's good food, but you know, like, just a salad or something? Like, mm, uh, that's, not, that's not it. All right, then. Then you better eat your whole bowl. Well, oh. you're still growing. You can handle at least one bowl of ramen. Because I said I'd treat you. Oh, 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 sorry. I can't go back on my word. It's bad for my conscience. Hey, I get that. That's mutual benefit. I'm down. Mm, you're so faithful. <laughs> That's supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> so rude. Here you go. Two specials. Point is, you don't go back on your word, especially when it comes to something you promised. That's cool and all, but let's eat. Thanks for the lecture, sir. Right. Don't want the noodles to get soggy. I was thinking earlier. You really don't take any shit. <laughs> even from your elders. I mean... I respect straightforwardness. Less trouble that way. Let's finish up and get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's just too cool. He's like two years ago. Oh! Welcome back. Were you together? Am I not allowed to do that? Hmm? Uh, Wait, Aragaki. Have you considered returning to school at all? It's been some time since second semester started. Regarding your attendance, it'd be best if you went back as soon as possible. <laughs> hmm. 
Having second thoughts? Man, I'm just saying, Shinji, I'm there. We'd be able to hang out more often. <laughs> I got the paperwork. But I don't remember saying anything about turning it in. I ruined it. I teased. I poked a bear too much. Oh, my God. What's the point anyhow? I got no business there. Then why... Why did you come back here? I apologize. It isn't my place to ask that. Everything is my fault. I shouldn't have gotten you or Akihiko involved. Cut that out. I'm the one who chose to join you back then. However things turn out after that has nothing to do with you. I didn't know what I was capable of. That's all there is to it. Then why are you so determined not to return to school? You'll be throwing your future away if you don't go back. You can't force him? Yeah, you can't. Mitsuru, it's his decision. I'm, I don't know. Right. He doesn't want to go. He's not going. Like. I apologize. I was out of line. I don't plan on forcing you into anything like I did in the past. What's important is it's your own decision, Aragaki. <laughs> Looks like you have changed. Just a little bit. Oh? You always used to avoid relying on people. Not so much of a lone wolf anymore, huh? Oh, wow, that's... Mm. The only choice we have is to keep moving forward. That goes for myself, Akihiko, and you. So please, Aragaki, just... Give it another chance. What are you guys up to? Oh, no. Well, looks like a pretty serious discussion. <laughs> Let me guess. This president is lecturing the delinquent on the importance of his education. Hey, delinquent, hold up. Akihiko. Well, I'll be damned. Or protein-fueled muscle-bound moron. <laughs> You're pretty smart. <laughs> That's so mean. What was that? CMS president. This delinquent's gonna go to his room and think about his bad choices. He just wants out of here so bad. <sighs> Wait, we're not finished yet. Akihiko, why are you like this? Oh my god, now she's mad at huh? What did I do? It was playful ribbing! What? Uh, what just happened? Was it something I said? I'm... Um, I don't know, dude. Bad timing, I guess. I think he'll forgive you, but oh, I just feel so conflicted. I... <laughs> Muscle bound moron. That's a little. That's a little too rude. I'm gonna say bad timing, my man. It happens. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. Oh, what? Come on, that's Sonata. It's nothing new. I'll just apologize later. Okay, he's gonna take accountability. That's fine. But, dude, drama. Looks like my charming agrees. Okay, I learned from Aragaki's perspective. We gotta figure out the root, the root reason why he doesn't want to go. Like we know he, you know, truancy is it like illegal. I think is it in Japan. I'm not sure actually. So much I still don't know about that oh, welcome back. island. This island that we're on right now. No oh, hey. Yo. Come to think of it, the crops are done. <gasps> okay, sweet. But other than that. And I heard, I heard from Mitsuru, you punched him yesterday, mister. We're gonna, we gonna talk about that? <sighs> he already, he probably doesn't even feel bad. That's the thing. I'm so bummed out. <sighs> I hate studying though. Hmm? What? Well, there's someone else if you're bored. I got nothing to offer you. We're even. Fine, fine. Oh, hey dude. So, uh, hey. Let's say, hypothetically, I have this friend that's a guy, and he might like it. No, he's not saying that. Someone tells me they want to die. So I tell this person I don't want them to die. What do you think? Is it weird to say that? Hmm. No, not at all. Thanks. Ah, good to hear. Thanks, man. No problem. It's like the most non controversial thing you can say. <laughs> I don't know why it's like, uh, like am, I, am I the bad guy, Yuki? Just be honest. Oh wait, there's new videos on the recorder. Okay, let's watch one. I forgot to do this, honestly. Uh-huh. 
<gasps> no! 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 It's focus room! Hmm. I wonder if I should have gone for the One Piece suit instead. Wait, what? No! These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. I'm uncomfortable, bro. It feels a little weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've chosen my own swimsuit. But there wasn't much of a selection for the one pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan again what she thinks. Although, I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! Jesus Christ, help us. This is... They kept this in the game. Are you pulling my leg? Wait, what is that? What the frick is... The low-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from uh, Tanaka's TV show. I mean, it, you know... You know, Fuka, those, those things don't work, you know. It said online it was very effective for its price. So maybe it could do some help before the trip. Now let's see... How do I turn this on? Uh, no! This... <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> oh, what do I do? <laughs> Why won't it come off? <laughs> no! Yamagishi, do you have a moment? Oh my god. It's scary to some One second thought, I'm, I'm good. Goodbye. Oh, um, am I interrupting anything? <laughs> no, 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 what it means to train your ass. Someone help. Hmm. I'm 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 gonna head out. Anywho, we need a bit of a palate cleanser. Let's see what you got for me, Lizzie. A fruit knife. Oh, yes. There exist many types of blades, each with their own uses. Among these variations, I would like to study the one known as the fruit knife. The fact that it has fruit in the name must mean it possesses some kind of special ability that only works on fruit. It is certainly a tool of great interest. Please bring me one immediately. Hey, that, that might... Oh, dude, how do I do that one? Dang, I don't remember how to do that. Oh, well. Mm, maybe Akihiko? Why do I always go to Akihiko when I think of these requests? I don't know, I just feel like he's a dude that has a lot of things, you know? Good morning. This is Elizabeth. What now? I am calling Freaking, oh, there's people in there already. Okay, it's fine. As I was saying. Our next oh, there he is, my man. All right, our next chapter goes over the problems of the Kamakura Shogunate. The Kamakura here is cool and all, but it doesn't beat the Sengoku era. Have we covered that enough this year? Mm, I don't think so. I can skip to Sengoku now, yes? Yeah, let's do it. We're taking a deep dive into the era, starting from the beginning. And I'm sure you all know it's generally agreed upon that the major factor in the Sengoku era's formation was the Onin War in 1467. After that, the next big one was the Coup of Mayo in 1493. Let's look a bit closer at the Onin War first. In 1467. You're feeling sleepy. No, this is getting good. Wow, it's already time. I can't believe I went by. And there's just me, like, actually interested in this period. They've only made it to 1467, but there's still so much to cover. 
Guess there's no other choice. Next time, we'll be jumping ahead to 1468. He says next time, like, he's making videos on the internet. Episodic videos? That's crazy. No one else is going to be here today. But they said we still can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why I'm in here in the first place. Oh, yeah. How's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh. Your flowers wilted. Uh, the heat must have got to them. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> oh, uh... Those are cut flowers, right? Whoa. How'd you do that? I was bored. I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? Yeah, but like, you know, I always miss. Like, it's not as cool. This is just another form they can take. Well, yeah, I guess. But... That's about all I've got going for me. Without this power, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. Hmm. Did you grow up in Antarctica? I hate hospitals. Oh. You do. Um. Sorry. But you've been coming to see me here. So, I don't mind as much this time. Oh, heck yeah. Chidori. You mean it? Oh no, he's blushing. I can, I, I can come all the time, like, you know. Then I'll come to see you every day. <laughs> hey. And end scene. Oh, so sweet. Just the sweetest. God dang. Meanwhile, how's staring contest going? Junpei-san went to the hospital again. He seems quite eager to go there. Has the questioning been going smoothly? Something's going smoothly. That. Junpei Cha! Yeah, I'd say he's making progress. This is questionable. Do I detect an underlying meaning? Is there something between her and Junpei that I'm not aware of? In any case, I have difficulty grasping those kinds of subtleties. Same here. So it's not really fair that I'm doing those on you, is it? <sighs> double standard. Anyway, that's not even what a double standard means. What we got today, Fuka Chihiro Yuko! You don't say. Yo, it's been a while. Oh. Yuki-kun, you know about the nightclub at Polonia Mall, right? I've never really cared for it since the place seems kind of sketch. Heard a weird crowd hangs around there. Like there's some guy dressed as a monk partying every night. Mm. Every night. I find that hard to believe. There's no way he's a real monk, right? Are monks even allowed to drink alcohol? Hmm, you can say it now. We learned about a monk who likes to party hard. Oh, yeah, those kids are really getting on my case about the whole coaching thing. The track's open since there's no practice today, so I'm wondering if I should just do it. Yes. You know what? I'll help you there. <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to ask the teacher permission to use the track then. I'll see you at the field. Counting on you, coach. She called me coach. I can't just say you. your back. And don't forget to swing your arms. 
Guess what? Guess what? I beat Yuki chan! Hey, what? No, you didn't. You're a fibber! I swung my arms really hard, just like you said. Oh, the other Yuki chan. My bad, my bad, meek looking girl. My bad. I didn't, I didn't mean to yell like that. Wow, seriously? That's amazing. Okay, next time, I want you to try running with your toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. My toes raised? Is that legit? Got it, coach. I don't know. I don't really sprint, to be honest with you. Hey, <laughs> look at her go. It works. Phew. <laughs> hey, what's that? What's that look? I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. <laughs> I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job. I just imagine her like, oh crap, oh crap. What? Hold on, use the computer. What? How to run fast. Enter. Uh. I even used the school library oh, for the first time to put together a training <laughs> routine. <laughs> Is she actually? I don't know if she used the computer at the library, but. I gotta say, though. I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, the life's just getting started, right? Quick to pick up. You're right, it's impressive. It's because you teach so well. Always go for the compliment. Always. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but hearing you say so does make me feel like I can do anything. Oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh. Oh, what? Thousand uh, Demon Sprint. <sighs> okay, <laughs> one more round. Hey, yo, 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 gotta, you gotta hydrate. Hold on, fellas. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. Kids your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We can keep going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Oh, no, you don't. How am I gonna spin this? Use that fighting spirit and punch a pillow and go to sleep and rest. Nah, that's so corny. <laughs> mm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. Mm, I've seen too many accidents. To suggest that. Call me the worry ward. Oh no, here we go. I trust your judgment, Yuko. You're the coach. I'm just the assistant coach. <laughs> oh. Oh? You know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. Alright, listen up. Despite the one point, I think that was the pick. I'm your coach now. So you stop running when I tell you to stop. Yeah, coach's orders, guys. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Plenty, coach. You're <laughs> on fire. <laughs> I respect the hustle, ma'am, with all due respect. What did you just call me? Oh. All right. Those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. Wait, why'd she get mad at that? I don't... Oh, they didn't get called coach. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. <laughs> if they could pull it off. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Always happy to help. You know what? I I can't remember exactly how this one has changed, but it does feel significantly different. We also don't have the social link where she's like, "Yuki Kuna, my fat," and you say no, and that this is which one was that? Like rank two, freaking. Oh, by the way, it's not in this game. That's awesome. The kids seem like they want to run with you. Oh yeah. You think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. I mean, I got my you know steel two toed boots on. I don't know. I mean, of course we gotta do it. I practice with the children until sundown. <laughs> they couldn't keep up. I made them eat my dust. Goodness. Anyway. I, oh, I didn't check my phone. If Shinji was available. Ah! Uh, oh, hey, hey. Well, bumped into it anyways. Yeah, I gotta get better at that. Like, pretty much every day. Oh! Appointment! We have a meeting, you know. No, we don't. You fibbing. Oh, that's the new food. It's in a good mood. Okay, it's working out. Koromaru-san says that he got a very tasty meal from Aragaki-san. He was very excited. Mentioned he'd won over his stomach. 
What could have happened to him? I am concerned. <laughs> You're concerned he ate well. Oh, well. I guess she doesn't eat. Oh, and that takoyaki. I'm still thinking about that crap. Paint your nails again. All right. Jeez. Can you feel it too? When you go near Junpei, it's like, how do I put it? Like he's radiating happiness, maybe? It makes me sick. Something happened to him. <laughs> she didn't say that. But she's thinking it. Yo. Uh -huh. Sounds like you're having a giggle fit. Wait, that was like all the way in like July. Two months ago, you were having a giggle fit, weren't you, Missy? I'm glad Junpei Kun is back to normal. But do you think his relationship with Chidori san will work out? She's a member of Strega, and there are enemies. Mmm. Yeah, well, come on, Romeo and Juliet, same crap. Why, certainly. I I don't see how, but well, I'll nod and agree. <laughs> Where the heck is he? Oh my god, he's right here. Hey, have you ever thought about what you're living for? Yeah, all the time, to be honest with you. Hmm. Never took you for the philosophical type. Hmm. So it's not just me. Guess not. Yo, what? What do you want? To hang with my Oh, a fruit knife. Huh? You want a fruit knife? What for? For fruit. You gonna use it for cooking? Hold on. Thanks. There you go. It's kinda old, but it's got a great grip. You can have it. Aw, thanks for the treasure. Now, now, now he's right back to being mad. I bought too much. Guess I'll freeze him. What are you standing around here for with those big ol' eye? Alright, I'll help you out. Let's cook. What should I make? Don't think I'll go easy on you. We're having Katadon again. Again? What? Don't give me that look. We got a lot of pork because it was cheap. Okay, 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 sir. Part of me thinks starting with fried food might be hard. But the basics are pretty much the same. Yeah, I can handle it, chef. I got you. I won't let you down. You're a real oddball, you know that? Asking me to teach you how to cook. What do you want to learn so much? <laughs> I want to be popular with the girls! <laughs> well, we all got our own reasons. <laughs> hey, we well, never heard that one before, weirdo. Can't hurt to know this stuff. But you better put in the work if you want to be popular. I was taught how to cook by someone else, too. Oh, really? So, when I see someone who wants to learn, I can kind of relate. All right. That's enough rambling. Let's get started. But who was it? You're gonna do it this time. So first, get the meat ready. Okay. How do I, how do, I do that? When you're frying something, stick a chopstick in the oil and check for little bubbles. Wait, you're putting on too much heat. The meat ain't gonna taste good if it's too tough. Pretty good job, considering it was your first try. You still got room for improvement, though. Especially in the way you handle the knife and fryer. But if you're serious about it, then just practice. And eat fried food every day? I mean... Alright. <laughs> Exquisite Katsu Don acquired. Alright, let's clean up. I wonder how much this heals for. You ain't done cooking until everything's put away. So don't slack off. You sped it. Just put your mind at ease. But eat first and... ah, oh, freaking... What now? I wanted to go into my myriad of lectures. God dang it. Hi. It's been a while. Three seasons have passed since we met. Yo, speaking of seasoning, do you want this kasu, Don? I know you smelled it and that's why you're here. Time goes by so quickly. And in that time, many things change. But at the same time, some things in this world will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Hmm. Yeah, there are certain things that'll never change. To some extent. I don't know about everything. I politely disagree. Hmm. If that's what you think, then maybe you're right. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. Like that tower, for one. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I wonder... Will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? <laughs> no matter what the future holds, you and I will always be friends. 
That much is certain. For some reason, Faros is smiling sadly. My bad. I guess not agreeing with him upset him. Maybe he's just hungry and doesn't know how to ask for the katsu done. <laughs> I'll see you again. But until then, good night. Later. It's a shame that the tired mechanic isn't in the game, because I feel like every time he shows up, we should get it. So that's messing up our REM sleep, you know what I mean? I swear to her, Sunday. I got a few messages. Oh, perfect timing. Not to shirk my responsibility of spending time with Fuka, but Yukari needs a spend time event to advance, so this is almost perfect timing. Since we're uh, have the day off, I was thinking of going somewhere. You want to join? I would love that. Thank goodness I already have Pixie because I want to walk to Velvet Room and get it. This is one downside doing all social links at the same time. Does it feel more organic? Yes, but there's downsides too. Mostly my limited stock. That was so good. Nothing beats Suzuki Strawberry Daifuku. Just rolls off the tongue. So I have a question for you. Do you like Azuki Strawberry Daifuku? Why is that such a mouthful? I guess because it's strawberry, and that's an English word. But you know, I'm gonna fib and say I love it, because it's pink, and I love things that are pink. <laughs> the pink outer skin is so cute! I completely agree. I mean, you can really call it a strawberry rice cake if the skin isn't pink. Don't think so. I wonder if our tastes outside of the food are the same. I wonder if our tastes outside of food are the same as well. Hmm. We do have a lot in common, after all. Um. But not gonna lie, you Carver, your choice in accessories, I cannot relate. More of a wallet guy. What do you want to do now? You already ate. Should we just walk around for a bit? That sounds nice. I like doing that. Walked around with Yukari and enjoyed our day together. And nothing else was established. Just that, I like this thing you like. Oh, that's so much fun. Let's, let's friggin' just kind of how they are this time around. It's not, it's not a diss. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Hello. Yo. And there's not a lot of people here tonight. Oh, then Shinji. God, we've been just freaking. Let me think. We've been annoying this guy. Just one thing. Whether or not I fit in your battle plan is up to you. You can remove me from the party whenever you think it's for the best. Don't worry about my feelings. Oh, Lord, don't worry. I don't worry. <laughs> if you suck, you are cut. And yet, Aki stays on the team regardless. Tell me, what do you personally think of Shinji? I know how he can come across, but he's not a bad guy. Yeah, it can be a nag, but still. Well, free to put him in on the team. It's a little late for that. Saw the animation for Bloody Charge one time. I'm like, oh my goodness! It's so cool. Anyway, here is your knife, here Lizzie. Here and what a sharp, shining blade. This must be the fruit knife I asked for. It seems as though it's been in use for a long time, but it's almost as sharp as the day it was made. I bet it has been used to cut a wide variety of things, not just fruit. It's an all-purpose cooking tool. Hmm. There's something written on the handle. Graduation gift orphanage. Very well, then. This item appears to be quite dear to someone. So be sure to take it back with you. How thoughtful. And she still gives us a, what, what the, huh? Now she wants some oil? Why do you want oil? I would like you to fetch me some. Since there's a vast selection of the item, it would undoubtedly be the extremely difficult to collect every single variation. Therefore, I ask that you bring me the oil frequently used by one of your acquaintances. I will await a that could be any of them! I, it could be motor oil. It could be peanut oil from Shinjiro again, because he cooks with it. It could be, could be oil to uh, make your arrows go farther for Yukari, you know? But, we'll worry about that later, because next time, Persona 3 Reload. There he is. The old monk. We gain a new social link. Because good lord knows we don't have enough of those. Wait, let me check. Is this, like, one of the last social links? 
Holy dump, it might be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Heartbreak. By the same time, it's a good one. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, more videos coming soon. Bye.